Hello everyone, this is Trussell242 and it's time for another Creators in video. In this one I will attempt to make Sera from Dragon Age. Dragon Age Inquisition specifically. And the game gave me this sort of starter sim and I think she looks okay I guess. Sera, we don't know her last name do we? Let's name her Sarah Jenny after the Red Jennies. And let's start by removing this hair, so we can work solely on the face. I mean, I guess the eyebrows are okay. They don't really look like Sarah's eyebrows, she more has like sort of... Kind of thin, but more like flat. They're not as... More something like this. Now I downloaded some CC eyebrows that might might be good. Maybe these, although the way they sort of fade in and out looks kind of weird. Sorry, she says eyebrows are really important when it comes to a face, so... Yeah, maybe these, actually. She's blonde, so we don't give her some blonde eyebrows. Although her eyebrows are actually a bit darker. They're more like this color. I think this color is perfect. And then we need to take a look at the eyes. And she has pretty big eyes. But they're more sort of like, more a little like this in shape. I'm trying to find ones that don't have the ear eyelashes. But I guess these are okay. If we go to detail edit mode, I can change them a bit further. Yeah, sort of more like this and then a bit I need to go out of detail edit mode and make them sort of like that. She doesn't really have the heavy eyelids, but she doesn't have mono eyelids either. And they're sort of... I mean, they are pretty big. And let's check the skin tone, which is a custom content one. I will link the custom content I'm using in the description. And the skin tone looks pretty good. I would say at least. She's kind of pale, but she's not that pale. And she's definitely not this pale. I really don't like the uh, way the maker of the skins has added the, the weird red. I don't understand that. I don't see why. what the point of it is. I don't like it. I think it looks very artificial and sort of ugly. And it looks really gross on these skins. Makes them borderline unusable. But that is my personal opinion. Yeah, I think something like this. Considering, I mean, again, she's kind of pale. But not that pale. Maybe there's the more peach tint to the skin. Now let's go and do the nose. This is going to be tricky because Sarah has a very specifically ch shaped nose. Hmm. These are sort of... I mean, it's kind of broad. But I'll need to go into detail edit mode again. And just. She sort of has this, the uh, Dragon Mage 2 elf shaped nose. Sort of like that. And then. I think it maybe goes out a little bit like this, the British nose. 
something like that, I think. And it's quite broad actually. Yeah, it looks something like that. It needs to be a bit bigger though. Something like this. It's a little bigger than Sarah's actual nose. But her nose kind of dominates her face. And her lips look kind of like this. Though perhaps a bit bigger. No, I think these are pretty good actually. Then we need to change your eye color to gray. And we need to make these eyebrows go down there a bit too far up now to be any good. It's hard to find any good eyebrows that really suit her. I mean something like this. And I do believe the skin color is actually a bit off. It's more like Ugh, I thought of the stupid red. She's not that pale. Yeah, I think this is more like it. Now we need to go into skin details and add some nice details. She's got some eye bags because she, well, she doesn't sleep now. And I'm going to give her some nice eyelashes. Not this big. So I don't have the... These ones are the ones that look most normal. There we go, now she's got some eyelashes. And this just adds a bit of sort of facial makeup, I think. But I don't really think I need it. What I do need, in fact, is some moles. And this mod adds, well, CC adds some moles, since she's got some on her face. Something like this. And here we have lots of freckles different patterns as you can see but they're a bit too much so they won't do any good this adds lots of like scars and little freckles and things don't really know what that was what though so I mean this looks kind of good I think let's do this And I mean, so do the scars, they're just sort of little splotches and blotches and just like a variety of like little things you can have on your face. Now then, which were the freckles that I was using? Yeah, something like that looks, looks, I think it looks kind of good. I 
And I need to add some eye bags. This is just like a sort of more realistic lips. And I think something like this might do. This. It doesn't really look like lipstick. It just looks like her natural lip color, which is good. Here we have some more eye bags. Oh, they cancel out the lip thing. Oh well. And here we can choose, you know, how deep we want them to be. This is our dear Sierra we're talking about. And um, well, I think something like this is about right. I think maybe if I just make the nose a little bit shorter. Maybe the face a little bit wider. No, that was the wrong decision. I think this is starting to look a bit like her. But we need some more of the skin details. I think. This adds some highlights, like blush and stuff. Some contouring to the skin. But I don't think we're going to add that. And this adds, wow, that's a pretty powerful blush. But it does something really weird to the freckles, so let's just not add that. And this adds a bit of a whole body blush, which can be kind of cute. I only wish it wasn't so strong. And this is... Oh, it's a hairline. Which is kind of cute. Then let's add some custom acne as well. I mean, it's Sarah. There we go, she, 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 she's, you know, a little bit spotty, but there's nothing wrong with that. Now let's add some hair, and I think it falls in the medium, the hair that I've chosen for her. Now I could have added some yay hair, like, you know, this hair. I can't pick between the light blonde and the medium blonde. But I mean, they are all too nice for Sarah. And I'm imagining this is a sort of slightly older Sarah. Anyway. But here we start to get to the custom content hair. I mean, there's this hair, which is nice, but it unfortunately has these streaks in them. That I don't really like. This hair by Raichu. Which I think, you know, it could work. Right? But it still looks kind of too nice. Let's see if I can change her jawline a bit. She's got a bit of a... No. I think her jaw is fine. She might need a bit of a bigger chin though. Something like this maybe. I mean, there's this hideous base game hair, but that does kind of look like something Sarah might have, doesn't it? This is really cute, but it's also a bit too neat in the back. No, I'll show you what I'm looking for. There's this, which is cute, but doesn't really scream Sarah to me. Oh, come on, where is it? I know it should be somewhere. Here. Yeah. This by Lazy Neath. It's the hair of the... Uh, musician Aurora. 
she was in Frozen 2. And I think this is the perfect hair for an older Sarah, don't you? Now to pick some clothes. What would Sarah wear? I mean, in the game she wears this red dress. So I'd like to see if I can find a nice... I mean, there's this sort of shirt dress, which looks kind of good on her. But I'm not sure if that's what Sarah would wear. This adorable sweater dress. It's so cute, look at that. It's adorable on her, really. Really cute. But then we have this. Now this strikes me as something that Sarah would wear. Especially in red, like this, with red plaid pattern. I do have some custom content dresses as well. Quite a few of them, in fact. But most of them aren't really Sarah appropriate. And for accessories, I've downloaded some new leggings. Because, well, again, it's Sarah. Of course, she will wear some nice leggings. Well, I like these ones with the beetles on them. That's really nice. But no, she would definitely wear these leggings. And then boots. Because she, you know, you just know she will be wearing boots. Just a pair of Dr. Martens. And for her ambition, I know exactly which one. It's going to be the Chief of Mischief. And she can be pretty hot-headed. I wish it was one that was sort of like mischievous or something. That would be really nice. The trait. Definitely a kleptomaniac. And the goofball. Ooh, Since, well, I mean, it's Sarah. She's a bit of a silly girl. We all know that. Now let's give her a few more outfits. Yes, because we can. Now here we can see this fine Dragon Age themed crop top that comes with a variety of different logos and colors. I mean she could be wearing this Inquisition one. Although I kind of do love the nub one, mm -hmm. in blue like that. So yeah, I think she's definitely wearing that. And then she's wearing these wonderful leggings. And let's give her something nice to wear for her bottoms. I mean, there's these pairs of patched up pants, which look nice. But I'm thinking she'd wear more something like ripped jeans. Like these pairs of shorts. Mm -hmm. 
Maybe. That's what I'm thinking anyway. And this is just another pair of leggings. So let's not have a wear those. Maybe just a little skirt. But this one comes in so many sort of boring neutral colors. I want something a bit, you know, a bit crazy. These pairs of sort of lacy shorts are kind of nice. I guess these jeans with the flowers on are also kind of good, but I need to need something something with a few holes in it. Like these are pretty good, but huh. these are from AA. Harry's Brittany, I think. And they're pretty good, I think. Maybe just this simple skirt with pockets from Discovery University. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Now, what would you wear for form over our Sarah? Now, I don't think she would wear this. But I think she might wear this high-waisted plaid Skirt by Sora's Sims. I mean, you could wear this thick sweater. This would be really cute, but is it Sarah? It's also by Sora's Sims. There's this sort of thick and bulky, but very cozy looking jumper. No, I think she would be wearing this, which has several different patterns on it. I think she would be kind of delighted to have flowers on her breasts. And don't worry though, there is an accessory bra for it so that you don't... Well, you can have it in red for instance, but I think she would have it in black, like so. So she doesn't look naked underneath. Maybe a different pattern. Yeah, maybe the houndstooth. Or maybe the leggings with the The beetles on them. Yeah, I think that's nice actually. And then she wouldn't be wearing flats, she would be wearing her boots as always. These boots. But the ones with roses on them. I think that's perfect, Sarah. Formal wear. It's sort of formal but also sort of playful, just like she is. Sportswear. Well, probably not that hat. Well, if she would be wearing a hat, it would probably be a beanie like this. And she wouldn't be wearing it to go sports. Okay, the hat drop is kind of messed up on this cap. Never mind. She wouldn't be wearing something like this. Probably something from Discovery University, like this. And she's definitely not wearing those ugly shoes, I mean they're hideous. Don't know who made them, but they're god awful. No plaid this time. I'm thinking for formal wear, maybe she should be wearing some makeup. If we start with the eye makeup, I have a lot of different makeup to choose from. I like this Lotus one from Cryptic Sim. I have most of my makeup actually from Cryptic Sim. I think this one is from someone else. I can't remember who, but it's a bit much. It's sort of extra.
This golden look is really nice, I think. I really like this amethyst. Yes, this, this is by Crypticsim again. Yes, this sort of like traditional purple. It's very nice. Then we have a bunch of different, for instance, the lotus winged eyeliner. This just adds like a little bit to the waterline. I like this one, Saffron. I think it looks really good. It's also by Cryptic Sim. And it's... Yeah, I don't know. It just makes it look good. Then for cheeks, we have a little bit of blush. I like this. <laughs> There we go, just a little bit, and it has some nice glitter shine to it. I mean, it's Sarah, she would like to have glitter on her face, I think. And maybe a touch of lipstick. This is from Forgive Us Our Sims. <laughs> this is some lip gloss. This Maya is really nice too, by Cryptic Sim. This is just lip gloss, but we have some lipstick. This actually looks really good, the way it sort of... Yeah, it looks good on her. Even though she looks a little weird with makeup, she looks a lot older, I guess, than she is. Then let us go through the face paint category. Oh, it has the... Uh... Well, it has some different things here as face paint. They have downloaded. For instance, some special contact lenses that make her eyes look a bit freaky. Like, check this out. That's kind of creepy, I don't like it. No, thank you, Sarah. You can keep your articulate daydreaming eyes. Would she sleep in this jumpsuit? No, I think she would sleep in a comfy big t shirt kind of thing. So, like, this t shirt dress is perfect. Sora Sims would probably like to have it. No, this striping stuff doesn't look very good. Maybe in yellow. What's this? Oh, that's. I see. I'm thinking she's gonna wear her nice. Maybe the ones with pumpkins on. Or like these ones with pictures of moons and stars. Nice pair of leggings to sleep. Hmm. And then obviously bunny slippers, pink bunny slippers, because they look a bit like nugs. And she's not wearing this to go partying, nope. That's not our Sarah. Like, she might be wearing this leather jacket. If it was just a jacket. Let's see if we can find anything nice. I mean, this denim jacket with the leopard is also kind of good. And I really do love this jacket from Get Famous. No, it's not from Get Famous, it's just from... It's a bomber jacket, I really love it when it looks like this. I could have sworn that it was from Get Famous though. But they must have added it in a patch. 
I also really like this with the floral thing, but I mean, this is just so good, like, yeah. So the flowers might be a bit sort of too girly though for Sarah, I think. I mean, then there's this. And there's this with a hoodie underneath. But no, I think we're going with the flowers. It's kind of, you know, it's Sarah. She doesn't really mind pretty stuff. She just needs to sort of contrast it with something a bit dirty and torn up. And I'm thinking these buds by Mama T. Sims. Are nice, especially the torn up ones or the paint splatter ones. I mean, she could also be wearing something like yeah, this denim skirt is perfect. And then a pair of leggings. Yeah, this is it. But not those shoes, she's wearing her beloved Dr. Martin boots. I mean, surely they should be counted as part among party wear. If, no, there they are. Swimwear. This is actually really cute and it does kind of suit her. Hot weather wear. No, I don't think she would be wearing that for hot weather wear. I guess like this tank top is good, for instance. But I'm thinking we gotta give her some, something a bit more, you know, interesting. This crop top is really cute, and I like the yellow color. I do love this ribbed one in mustard though. It feels more Sarah somehow. And then a pair of base game jeans shorts. Though I wish I had some high waisted ones. These ones are really cute though, I really like these ones. By OK Rui. And there are some funky ones as well, with paint. I like the cat shoes, they actually seem to kind of... I mean, they're sort of playful, just like she is. They have a slight heel, which doesn't really suit Sarah, but... Meh. Let's find a different top for her. This. This is perfect. It's from... Um, what's it called? Not going to business, but something similar. I think this color looks alright. And then let's give her something like... I mean, these shorts are fine. These drifted up ones were also fine. But yeah, I think the athletics shorts from going to university, um, <laughs> Discover University, I mean, would be good. What are these? These are sort of like leather shorts. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Not that, that either. This simple skirt though, does it come in any funky colors? But it looks a bit warm, the fabric like doesn't look... Maybe with these pair of ripped up jeans shorts from the bowl and stuff back. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I think this color is good. And then cold weather. Well, she's not wearing those glasses, and she's definitely not wearing that ring. It's messing up her eyelashes. But the big jumper is nice, though. I kind of approve, although I like this one better. Let's see if there are any full body dresses that she could be wearing for cold weather. I mean, there's this one, but it's sleeveless. And there's a the tiny living jumper, which just looks so comfy. These pair of ripped up old jeans, which are from Sims on the Rope, I believe. Not Sims on the Rope, but um, Sims Trouble, I think. Let's add some leggings to the mix. You can hardly see them. And, um, well, I mean, who knows? She might actually wear those big boots. But then they should be like bright red or something. No, I think she's just wearing the Martins. Can we put a hat on her? Mm, we can or can. But it doesn't really look good. So, note that. Mm -hmm. Let's give her more of a jacket this time around. See if we can find some nice thick jacket for her. I mean, there's this sort of leather jacket looking deal. Yeah, bright red leather, leather jacket and the... Uh, And the black turtleneck shirt underneath. I mean, that looks alright. But I think it was originally made for men, which is why it looks kind of weird on her. This denim jacket, though, wasn't, so. But it doesn't look very good. Now, what would she want to wear? I mean, I guess there's this big sweater again. I'm just going through all the categories. Yeah. And yeah, I think that's it. Let's just go to look at her face once again. What do you think of my Sarah? Thank you all so much for watching. You've been watching Trestle Tofu 2 playing some The Sims 4. Well, playing. I've just been making a sim, really. And well, before you go, I would like to remind you to please leave a comment or a like if you enjoyed this video. And if you really liked it, why not subscribe? Thank you so much for watching. Take care now, and I hope you'll be joining me for the next video. Thank you. Bye.